Buying and selling a home in Mar Vista's current housing market doesn't have to be as painful as the headlines read. In this video, my friends, I'm sharing exactly what we are experiencing right now in this Mar Vista housing market and what you as a buyer or seller can be doing not only to survive, but also win in this market. Tune in as we're about to jump into the numbers because they never lie and you deserve to know exactly what the truth is about our housing market in Mar Vista so you can be completely prepared. Welcome back to the channel guys and happy new year. I'm Eric Haas, 24 seven real estate agent here on the west side of Los Angeles out of Santa Monica with Sotheby's International Realty and I put this channel together for you buyers and sellers out there so you are completely fully aware of what we are experiencing in our current real estate markets here on the west side and particularly Mar Vista in this video and what you can be doing to not only survive but also win in this marketplace. So smash that subscription button so we can get more videos out to you. Leave a like because that lets me know I'm doing something right and comment below because I'm always here to help you no matter whether you're moving, buying, selling, or staying put, you just wanna know what's going on, I'm here to help. Let's get into these numbers right now. All right, guys, let's get into it right now. Part one of five, we're taking a look at the number of actives, pendings, and solds as we see what is transpiring, the changes that are occurring between quarter three and quarter four for 2022. But we're also throwing a curveball in because we've got quarter four numbers 2021 a year ago to see exactly clearly how the differences are making themselves known. As we look at the active listings right now, quarter three versus quarter four, there is a 16% drop. We had 42 active listings for sale in quarter three of 2022. Quarter four rounded out at 35. Again, that is a 16% drop. And you're probably thinking, well, it's seasonal. It's winter time. But we look over at quarter four. That was a hot seller's market. And we saw only nine homes available for sale. And that 35 is actually a 288% increase from where we were one year ago in a hot seller's market. So are we still in a hot seller's market? Numbers aren't painting a picture that it is a hot seller's market and things are definitely changing. So buyers and sellers, you guys gotta be prepared so that you're ahead of the game from day one. Now, if we look at a number of these pendings for quarter three versus quarter four, we've seen a drop as well. 12 in quarter three, dropping 33% to eight in quarter four. If we look at one year ago though, we see that there were 22 homes under contract for quarter four. So that is a 64% decrease to eight one year later to quarter four, 2022. Again, painting a very clear picture, even just in part one of this video, that this seller's market is no longer present. And if we look at the number of sold listings, that's taken a turn for a little bit of a change as well as we saw 68 homes selling. It's taken a 16% drop in quarter four to 57. However, quarter four 2021 beats both quarter three and quarter four at 86, seeing quarter four 2022 taking a 34% drop to 57 homes selling compared to one year ago at 86. So the market is changing, guys and sellers. With this change, you're going to be having to very quickly get clear about how you want to price your home if you're not on the market anticipating coming on the market in 2023 and if you are on the market right now maybe you should identify whether or not you should adapt and make an adjustment so that you can be in front of the competition that you're already competing with with 35 listings on the current part market. two of five my friends is a new addition to the market update because Things are changing and buyers and sellers need to be aware of really what's going on transparently in the marketplaces here on the west side. And from our Vista, we had to add a slide to share with you what's going on with the price reduction, something that was never heard of one year ago in a hot seller's market. We're also taking a look at the percentage of the current inventory that has taken at least one price reduction as well. And we're also painting a very clear picture for you as to what it would be like to sell your home in the first 30 days what it would look like to sell your home after 30 days. And unfortunately, if you price your wrong, home wrong from day one, what your home would look like selling after 60 days. So let's get right on into it. Price reductions happening in Mar Vista right now, 35 homes for sale, 10 price reductions. That's accounting for 29% of the current inventory taking at least one price reduction. And you probably know sellers that when you take one price reduction, 
the likelihood of you selling for that price reduction is probably slim to none, especially in this kind of changing market that we're experiencing right now. And buyers out there, well, they're looking for a deal because with the interest rate as high as it is and inflation continuing to rise, which will probably pull up interest rates again, unfortunately, they need all the help they can get. So again, pay attention to the idea of maybe giving points towards a buyer's loan, which only costs you a fraction of a penny compared to the price reductions you're gonna be taking at the end of the day. And buyers, make sure you're taking a look at the homes that are taking price reductions because price reductions are a reality. Now, sellers, if you're selling your home in the first 30 days, you still have a very strong chance of selling your home over the asking price. In fact, if you sell your home in the first 30 days, majority of the homes are getting 103% of the asking price, showing that homes are still getting over asking if they are priced correctly from day one. So make sure that your pricing strategy is on point or you're gonna fall into selling after 30 days where you only get 97% of the original asking price. And if you really priced it wrong, well, then you're looking at only 94% of your original list price at the end of the day. And that's after a price reduction as well. So you may get even less than that and that's for quarter four where still things seem to be not for certain in this quarter one as we're moving forward into 2023. Moving right along, let's get into part three of five. We are taking a look at that median active price, the median pending, and that median sold price for Mar Vista quarter three versus quarter four 2022. But I also threw in quarter four 2021, a hot seller's market to see clearly whether or not the market we're experiencing right now is anything like we were experiencing in a hot seller's market one year ago. And as you can see, the median active price not much has changed across the board. 1.9 million for quarter three. Quarter four, we had a million nine fifty, a 3% increase. And then in quarter four, 2021, it was at 2 million. Now, the only thing that is different between quarter three and quarter four of 2022 and quarter four of 2021 is that the interest rates aren't as high as they are now and inflation. So there are a lot of things that are now impacting the market that we weren't seeing in quarter four, 2021, still a hot seller's market. So when I see the median active price not far off from where it was one year ago, it's showing to me right there that sellers just aren't getting it, that they need to price their home correctly from day one, or they're gonna be one of those many price reductions and selling way below the asking price when they were in a perfect opportunity to sell correctly and still get over the asking price and sell in the first 30 days where you clearly saw you could get 103% of the original list price. Now, as we look at the median pending price, quarter three still was a strong quarter because things weren't really going to, sorry, hell for a lack of better term, until the end of quarter three and moving into quarter four. So median pending price was at 1.9 million. However, when you jump over to quarter four, median pending price took a dip to the tune of 33%, finding it resting at a million seven fifty clearly showing things are changing in this once hot seller's market that we were experiencing in Mar Vista. And if we look at that median pending price from one year ago, it's $100,000 higher at $1,850,000 in quarter four 2021 versus $1,750,000 in quarter four 2022. Now, as we look at that median sold price, $1.6 million, a little bit of a drop for quarter three, considering that things were still moving in the right direction up until the end of that quarter. A 12% increase actually in that median sold price at $1.8 million, a $100,000 difference between now and a year ago considerably means that this hot seller's market is no longer present and we got to pay attention to what we're doing as we put our homes on the market, especially when it comes to price because the median pending price, the homes that are selling right now are having this as a median pending price, not a million nine fifty and not $1.8 a million seven fifty. So we got to pay attention to see exactly what the pulse is telling us with these numbers so we can be ahead of the game sellers and pricing correctly so you sell in those first 30 days. And if you clearly want to understand how to do this, I have a complete seller's guide for you to understand how to sell in this changing market. It's a complete e-campaign. Happy to give that to you. It's in PDF form. Just drop a comment below with your email and I'm more than happy to send it over to you and if you got questions we can discuss it further from there so but on that note you really have to have a very smart pricing strategy moving forward sellers if you really want to sell your home because the prices haven't come down considerably enough for buyers to feel like they want to jump in because the interest rate is still so high so we've got to find a middle ground so that we can continue 
having these transactions happen between buyers and sellers, putting buyers in their dream homes and sellers finding themselves getting the most money for their home. So At far, my friends, parts one, two, and three have clearly shown that our once hot sellers market that we grew accustomed to throughout the third quarter up until that last week of September is no more. And unfortunately, I can't really say that it's a hot buyer's market either because with this inflation rate increasing, the Fed's only way to com combat that right now is to increase interest rates, which is doing no justice whatsoever for buyers who have been waiting on the sidelines, hoping that prices would finally start to trickle down a bit so that they could get into that dream home only to find the Fed unfortunately continuing to raise interest rates. Let's hope that's not the case going into quarter two, but it's not looking good so far. We're getting into part four of five. We're looking at that sold volume, the average days on market, and that original list price versus the sold price. The sold volume has actually gone up from quarter three to quarter four to the tune of 65%, 80 million being the sold volume in quarter three, 132 million being the sold volume in quarter four. But don't get excited quite yet my friends because a hot seller's market is not around the corner to be a hot seller's market we need to jump up another 32 percent to 195 million being the sold volume for quarter four 2021 so still clearly not a hot seller's market things have changed more volume has been consumed as a result in quarter four but i think that is attributed to the new trend which is price reductions and not only are sellers taking a price reduction but it could be one or two and then on top of that once a buyer gets finally interested, they're offering less than that and then negotiating the heck out of it with credits and uh, requests for repairs as well. So don't put yourself in that position, sellers. Be smart. You got to have a pricing strategy in place from day one. The average days on market, 21 for the third quarter. It has risen 33% to 28 days being the average days on market for quarter four. And based on what we've seen in parts one, two, and three, I don't think that this average days on market is going to be going down in 2023. I think more inventory is going to pick up, lending to more homes being on the market longer if sellers are not pricing their homes correctly. Now, if we only get the interest rate down into the fives, and no, my friends, unfortunately, you are not gonna see interest rates going under 4% anytime soon. So once we get more into the five and a half range, we're going to start seeing a lot more action from buyers, but that is all dependent upon what's happening with our inflation rate. And if that is going to come down anytime soon, your guess is as good as mine. We look at the sold price versus the list price, and we clearly see that we're at 96% of the original list price for quarter three. It actually ticked up 2%, 98% of the original list price for quarter four. However, you want to be a hot seller's market. You've got to be over that 100% and quarter four 2021 was definitely that at 102%. No questions asked. That was a hot seller's market and what we're experiencing right now just isn't. So buyers, be on the lookout for opportunities that are reducing. There are great chances for you to take advantage of this market still with having your rate being bought down or getting stipends being provided by sellers. More than happy to share more about that. If you're interested, leave a comment. I'm happy to share that information with you as well. And sellers out there, if you really want to understand what it takes to sell in this changing market that we're experiencing on the whole West Side and Mar Vista for that matter, please drop a comment with your email. I will be more than happy to share with you the campaign which identifies exactly what you need to be aware of to be a success, not only to survive in this market but thrive and win in this market Alrighty, guys let's get into part five of five there has been a ton of information covered but this is my favorite part as we get into the number of homes selling above the asking price at the asking price and below the asking price and you know for darn sure i got the quarter four 2021 hot sellers market numbers for you so that we can be crystal clear and put it to rest that this hot sellers market is no longer present in Mar Vista, unfortunately. But here we go. Quarter three versus quarter four, we see 22 homes selling above the asking price in quarter three. Now, mind you, the number of homes selling in quarter three was 68. There were 57 total homes selling in quarter four, 2022, and 86 homes selling for quarter four, 2021 hot sellers market, remember. So back at it, sold above ask, 22. That was 32% of the 68 homes selling went over the asking price versus 23 selling above the asking price 
for quarter four. Now I get it, it's above by one home selling, and I get it that 40% of the homes selling for quarter four sold above the asking price, but remember this thing, there are 57 total sales. A big difference between 68 and 57, not to mention 86. And as we look at the number of homes selling above the asking price for 2021 quarter four, you see 48, and that's accounting for 56% of the market. So it has dropped 16% compared to one year ago with respects to the homes selling above the asking price. Now, if we look at the homes selling at asking, quarter three saw three homes of the 68 homes selling in quarter three, selling at the asking price, and that accounted for 5%. Quarter four saw six homes out of the 57 homes selling at the asking price, and that accounted for 11%. We go over to quarter four, 2021, a hot seller's market again, and we have nine homes selling at the asking price. And that's 10% of the market, which had a total of 86 homes. Now, out of the number of sales, 68 homes selling in quarter three, 43 homes sold under the asking price. That's 63% of all the homes selling in quarter three sold under the asking price. And that's very clear. That's the price, nothing else. Now, if we look at quarter four, we see that the number of homes selling below the asking price is 28. Now, 28 versus the 57, that's accounting for 49% of all the homes selling in quarter four, 2022. We're selling under the asking price, and that's not where you want to be either. But right now, you really got to have a strategy if you really want to get the most money for your home at the end of the day. Now, if we look at the number of sold below asking for a hot seller's market, yeah, it's 29 above what quarter four was for 2022. But at the same time, 86 homes were selling in quarter four, 2021. And that 29 only accounted for 34% of all the homes selling in quarter four, 2021 were selling below the asking, okay? And in a hot seller's market, we saw 48 selling above the asking with 56% of the homes selling above the asking price. That is a hot seller's market. What we're seeing right now is clearly a market that is changing and we're not quite sure where it's going to end up but you've got to keep your finger on the pulse both buyers and sellers if you want to thrive survive and win in this market that wraps it up for us folks i hope you found tremendous value in this i've been covering the market since pre-pandemic 2020 so if you want to go back to those playlists you're going to get a very clear perspective of what's been transpiring the past two years now if you haven't already smash that subscription button so more videos come out like the video so i know i'm doing something right and comment below because i'm always ready to help you out any way i can even if you're not looking to buy or sell right now questions you have happy to help out and don't forget if you want to know what it takes to sell in this changing market that we're experiencing on the west side of los angeles drop a comment for this pdf as i'm more than happy to provide it to you it will get you absolutely prepared for how to be the best when you come to the market. And especially give me a call if I can help you out with that as well. On that note, have a great one. Stay dry because this rainy weather is crazy here in California. And I'll see you with the next video where we cover Venice, California.